the 2024 NHL draft will go down as the most diverse ever. The draft, the unofficial start of a new league year, turning the page from one season to the next. Alexander Barkov, you have the honor of hoisting the Stanley Cup. As soon as the Stanley Cup is handed out, the execs get busy trying to build a championship organization. Some picks were more surprising than others. Beast Mode came through, even the one and only Celine Dion was in the building. Let's get ready to rumble! And I mean, there's a spear. Inside and out, the first live event of its kind to be showcased here. But this draft class showcases the changing composition of the sports players. University global game Denver. with global Denver. interest casting a wide net for the best. Kevin He, left winger out of the OHL, is actually born in China. He becomes the second player ever born in China to make the NHL draft. Eric Emery. So many people over the years came up to me and people of color and hockey players that, that told me that my dad was their favorite player and that he inspired them to play. So if I was able to do that for, for other kids one day, that would be uh, super special. For 2024 draft, Utah selects Tiege Aginla. The world's fastest sport has been slow to change, but the setting of Las Vegas was instructive as the strip has become the place the entire world comes to play. And that's the goal for those that lead the National Hockey League. This draft was a data point that not only is the pipeline of talent strong, it's starting to get wider. From the Medicine Hat Tigers, Caden Lindstrom. To be a role model in the game is what I want to do. Just people of color and people without color, just to let them know that you're not the only one, you know? Kind of tell them that you could really be anything you want to be as long as you work hard for it. It's difficult to see young players go through adversity. This young man grew up without a father, three sisters, hey mom, sisters, I'm going to take care of you. This is the first step in doing that. You're seeing the fruits of the labor, of the camps and clinics, of the ball hockey investment, of the community involvement, of those who have made it coming back to mentor those trying to make it. This year, four prospects with backgrounds diverse to hockey traditionally were picked in the top 12. It's not just a personal victory, it's a family victory. The whole village celebrates tonight. Office. That's what I'm going to call him because I would pay for a ticket to see this guy play. He is that exciting. Ultimately, all those kids who put on that oversized Fanatics jersey were just kids living out their dream. They were no different, but kids of all different backgrounds now know that playing in the best league in the world isn't just a dream. It's an attainable goal. You love to see it.